Hi friends, uh, in this session we will discuss one more pentagonal prism. In the previous uh, video we discussed a pentagonal prism which is uh, one edge of the prism, pentagonal prism base is on HP. So if you wish to uh, see that uh, problem also, no? you can check the uh, video link in the description box. Uh, in this session we discuss another option of pentagonal prism. Uh, the base corner is on HP. Read the question. A pentagonal prism of base size 30 mm long and axis length 60 mm rests on HP on one of the base corners with the base edges containing it being equally inclined to HP. The axis is inclined at 45 degree to HP and parallel to VP draw the projections of the prism. Uh, before uh, Considering this as an entire pentagonal prism as a solid, for identifying the position of pentagon, we can assume the pentagon as the plane surface. So in HP and VP, while one of the base corner on HP, how can we draw this pentagon plane surfaces? This is how we can draw this plane surface base corner. This is the corner which is touching HP. Similarly, we can check another condition that corner has edges, base edges. These are the two base edges. This corner has two edges, which is equally inclined to HP. Yes, this condition also satisfied. This is equally inclined to HP. After the rotation of 90 degree, the position of uh, pentagon in the top view is supposed to be like this. And we have two options. Uh, this pentagon edge this is the edge which is parallel to hp after the rotation it becomes perpendicular to the reference line xy we have one more option like either we can keep uh, this edge on the left and uh, left side also left as well as right side you can see another option corner on the left edge on the right side both are correct but only thing we have to make sure we are tilting on the edge side because uh, make sure that we have to tilting we are tilting on the corner side because question is corner is on hp okay then uh, what is the position of solid now this corner is touching on hp this is how the position of uh, simple position of the pentagonal prism and uh, a b c d e is the top face of the prism uh, pentagon top face of pentagon uh, top face of pentagonal prism and 1 2 3 4 5 is the base or bottom face of the pentagonal prism so a b c d e is visible from the top view 1 2 3 4 5 is invisible from the top view that is how we have to start the top view draw x y and then uh, already we know what is the position of pentagon we are keeping the corner on uh, right side and uh, you can what is the base side it is 30 mm mark the dimensions of this base side and give a name for all the corners as we discussed in this uh, previous step a b c d e pentagon will be visible for us 1 2 3 4 5 being the base of the prism it will be invisible that's why it is denoted in the bracket now you can extend the projectors from all the corners then after extending the corners uh, projectors from all the corners join this uh, base of the pentagonal prism then longer edges has to be extended what is the length axis length is 60 mm so length of this longer edges is 60 mm you can uh, complete all the longer edges and finish the front view and what about the notations an observer is standing here an observer is standing here with this you can clearly say what are all the uh, corners visible for us from an observer is standing here so a b c is visible in the top face d and d is invisible so a dash e dash should be in the bracket because if you stand from here e and d is invisible so b dash is visible d dash invisible c dash is visible what about the base of the pentagonal prism base is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 will be visible and 5 and 4 is invisible it is denoted in the uh, bracket being front view it is 1 dash to 5 dash okay. 
now we have to mark the axis for marking the axis we can extend the uh, projectors or diagonal from this corner c to the meet of this a e h or 1 2 5 h then you uh, identify the midpoint of this uh, diagonal from where uh, you can extend the projector to fix the axis okay now the axis is inclined at 45 degree to hp so this axis as well as this 3 dash c dash axis and all the longer edges are parallel to each other in case i am tilting this 3 dash c dash as 45 degree this axis also makes an angle of 45 degree due to both these edges longer edges and this axis is parallel to each other so i'm going to tilt this 3 dash c dash for 45 degree for this you can take any point on x y from that point you can draw a projector line which is which has no uh, specific length you can extend uh, as a thin line afterwards you can convert this 3 dash c dash on this 3 dash c dash on this 45 degree inclination line the length is 60 so we are going to reproduce the same front view simply on this 45 degree inclination line okay complete this uh, front view as it is in this uh, step 2 and also you can mark the same notations 1 dash 5 dash 2 dash 4 dash 3 dash for this you have to measure 1 dash what's the distance from 1 dash to 2 dash and uh, redraw the same on this uh, step number 3 front view inclination with respect to hps 45 degree okay now we will move on to the final step uh, you can extend the projectors from this uh, front view as well as from this top view all the respective corners will meet at one point here it is one dash similarly uh, here i'm having one in the top view you can extend the projectors both will meet at one point you can mark it as one one and next corner is uh, two and here it is uh, two in the top view meeting point is here two one and three dash here it is three you can extend the projectors from both the points this meeting at here 3 1 and uh, uh, next one is 4 dash and here it is 4 it is meeting at this point 4 1 5 dash 5 e 5 is here you can draw 5 1 now the base of the base of the pentagonal prism pentagon 1 2 3 4 5 is the base pentagon it is completed in the top view similarly you can extend the projectors from the top face of the pentagon a b c d e and you can mark the uh, all five corners of the pentagon a1 and how it is e1 here this is point uh, corner e so here also e dash both meeting at this point e1 similarly you can extend the projectors for b dash and d dash this is d projector in the top view this is b projector in the uh, top view both are meeting at this point b dash b1 this is d1 now you can extend the projector from c dash this is the meeting point of c c1 okay now all the uh, corners of front top as well as bottom face of the pentagon is completed in this view what you can do now is join all the boundaries which means in this view alone in this top view join the boundaries of this uh, view by thick lines okay join the boundaries of this view by thick lines what are all the boundaries like 5111 5111 is the boundary then 1121 21b1 b1c1 c1d1 d141 4151 okay these are all the boundaries of this uh, particular view now we can say clearly this is the top face of the pentagon a b c d e a dash b dash c dash e dash is the top face of the pentagon it can be clearly seen from this view top view so i can complete that uh, pentagon in this top view i can join a a1 e1 and similarly a1 b1 e1 d1 being the top face of the pentagonal prism it can be clearly seen in the top view next one three dash this is the three dash bottom face of the pentagon is one two three four five is the bottom face of pentagon 
3 is on HP. So it is invisible from the top view. That is why it is represented in the bracket. You can check the bottom edge, bottom face of the uh, prism and also bottom half of the edges. This is uh, 223324. So it is invisible from this uh, top view while you are seeing from here. So we can join 324223 in the hidden lines. Okay, 22. 2131, 3141 and clearly you can remember always the bottom half of the base edge always it is invisible from the top view. Here the bottom half of the uh, base edge is 223324 and we can say this 3 dash a dash also invisible from this uh, top view. It has to be drawn by means of hidden lines. 31 C1 is invisible from the top view. And what about the another long edges 1 to A and 5 to E? It is visible when an observer is standing here. So I can join by means of thick lines 5 1 E1. Similarly, 1 1 A1 is visible from this top view. Okay, this is the final answer. So only thing uh, here this position you have to make sure uh, we have initiated as a correct position. So base corner is on HP. That's why we have tilted on the corner side and if you check this problem as well as previous problem the position of pentagon the position of pentagon will be more or less same only thing in the previous case we have tilted the edge which means the edge may be kept on the right side that edge is tilted for some inclination now the corner so that's why the corner is corner side is tilted okay one even though uh, here they clearly mention only the axis is inclined at 45 degree to hp okay. being corner on hp we have tilted on this side but we are tilting only the axis okay either you can mess after the completion of uh, this problem you can use protractor and measure the inclination of this axis by simply uh, ex extend one uh, thin line and you can measure it will be exactly equal to 45 degree okay so mostly these hidden lines only uh, make you to confuse i the shortcut is the bottom base of the uh, pentagonal prism or any solid the bottom base of the edge bottom edge of the any base will be invisible from the top view here it is uh, 2 2 3 3 2 4 that's why 2 1 3 1 3 1 4 1 is invisible 3 dash is on hp the being 3 dash is on hp it is invisible from the top view and as per the long edges longer edges this 3 dash c dash also invisible from the top view of this uh, 